went into the service in World War II. I was stationed down in Baltimore, Maryland at first on the Chesapeake Bay. And after my boot training, I was sent to San Francisco, California, and I was put aboard a troop transport ship. It was a Navy troop transport ship called the Admiral Mayo, and it was AP-125. It was more than 200, two uh, football fields long, 620 feet long. I met quite a few prominent people. One of them was my shipmate, Victor Mature. We became very close friends. I was also very friendly with Gus Lesnovich. He was the light heavyweight champion of the world at that time. And he and I used to spar together. Of course, he could have beaten me if he'd have wanted to, but <laughs> we were just playing around, you know, we were good friends. And from there then, we were sent with a load of troops to Normandy. And we were in many islands of the South Pacific. And when we were in the Caroline Islands, we were grouping with uh, the 5th and 7th Fleet. And as far as the eye could see, there were ships all over the waters, all kinds, heavy cruisers, aircraft carriers, destroyers, destroyer escorts, mine sweepers, just as far as you could see. And I, I was sent to Detroit for my discharge, which made me very happy because I wanted to get back to my beloved wife, Helen. And we had one daughter because we had gotten married while I was in the service in Baltimore. And I was then discharged from Detroit and sent to Pittsburgh and joined my family again. Well, at first I, I tried to do some barbering, but I didn't like it because it was too confining. I was the type that liked to get out. I liked the outdoors, the wildlife. But my older brother was a contractor, building contractor. He built homes. So I gave up that barbering, which I didn't care for. And I went into the home building business with my older brother, Nick. And a couple other brothers of mine who were younger, they also got into the building business with him. But after a two or three years, maybe five, I became uneasy and I thought it was too confining, not confining, but too seasonal. So I then, saw where they were taking applications for the police department in a small town next to Brentwood, where I was raised, of Whitehall, which is only seven miles out of Pittsburgh. And I took the test, and I got the job. And I became a Whitehall police officer for 23 years. Since I retired from the police force, <clears throat> All I ever did was taxidermy work. Then I went into it full time. And my son by that time was old enough to assist me. Then very shortly, he became the boss because his work was very excellent. He, he's very uh, particular about his work and more than I was, I guess. And I, I would say that his work was better than I had done. And uh, his work was in the National Taxidermy Hall of Fame. And so is mine. Uh, both of us had it in there. And I liked it. You know, I liked what he did. And, and I thought that uh, Barbara, who was frightened by her, was a brother, uh, about the, they're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> So I got, I liked that, and I thought she did an excellent job of acting. 